Oh. Seems like we finally broke our duck. I mean, I think my radio failed, I assume. You got sixth place. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Billy. Oh. Yes, that was a good win, man. 42 laps, you beat everybody by. God. Or nine or something like that. Was it really that many? Um, uh, that we was were, tough. I'm really quite curious to see what that tire looks like. Oh, yeah. Money's worth out of that one, buddy. I think, yeah. uh, <laughs> I, I think that you could I, do some knitting later with that one. You're kidding. I think uh, Bridgestone uh, <laughs> actually paid off there on that tire. Holy cow. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I, I'm a little surprised. Uh, didn't expect this to happen. To <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Hey, buddy. Congratulations. Thank you. You're supposed to pour champagne on me, you know. Well, but the cold water does feel nice. Thank you. Jamie, do, do it side to side. So uh, how was it at the end there, man? It was pretty hot out there. Uh, it was pretty warm, and oh, I think the cool suit got clogged because only very rarely was I getting a cold water shot. Um, so, I, yeah, it was pretty warm. Um, but uh, gosh, it was awfully nice with all the guys on track, even though there weren't that many guys on track, uh, to just, uh, everybody was just generous with space and whatnot. It was just, it was just delightful. Um, now you guys had a lot of problems during the day too. It just oh wasn't, God. it wasn't trouble free race for you. Yeah, we had a couple of emergency pit stops because of yeah, two stints in, tire looked just like that. And uh, we didn't think this one was gonna make it to the end. So I was trying to be gentle with it. And as crappy as that looks, it actually still feels pretty good. Uh, so uh, kudos to Bridgestone for how awesome the tire is. Um, yeah, we also had uh, an issue with uh, running low on fuel. We've got a new electronic system in the car and it's more than a little conservative about how much fuel is in the car and it starts blinking at you that you're out when you've still got four gallons. Oh, wow. So uh, we had a couple of early stops as a result of thinking we were out of fuel. Uh, but other than that, oh, actually the day went pretty well. Um, so you had a hard time getting it started right on your stand. Yeah, um, I think it had uh, heat soaked a little bit and uh, vapor locked. Um, uh, I, I, I've never seen it do that before uh, with the new ECU, no matter how hot it's been. So I was a little surprised at that. We'll have to look at the wall wetting map and crazy junk like that. I think second place suggested that you turn off the sandbag button and it started right up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that is that what they're saying? Okay, all right, I'll quit hitting that sandbag button, yeah. Uh, no, eventually I treated it like it was flooded. I just pushed yeah. my foot to the floor and then it was like, bah, bah, bah. Yeah. so okay, then fine, call it good. So, yeah. So you start nine laps, or nine or 10 laps down tomorrow. So how are you gonna come back from that? We are not gonna come back from that. Oh, thank you so much, Chris. Uh, we are not gonna come back from that because we brought two fresh set of tires with us. There's the second set right Ooh. there. Tomorrow, we have nothing but used takeoffs for a track day. We're gonna be slipping and sliding all over the place. We're gonna be dead slow, and I apologize in advance if we slide into anybody because our tires tomorrow are shit. So tomorrow you're predicting a victory again? D yeah, uh, <laughs> just want everybody to know not to worry about us. It's all good. All yeah. right. Well, congratulations there, you and uh, you know, Roto Pluker, this is the second win in a row on the West, isn't it? No, this is the first time we've ever won. Oh yeah, that's right. You were on the podium at uh, yeah, Thunder yeah, we Hill. Yeah, third place at yeah. Thunder Hill. Yeah, this is our very first win. All right. I, I don't know. After seven years of trying, finally broke that duck. All right, man. I know Thank that you. feeling, man. Yeah, ah, uh, it feels pretty damn yes, good. <laughs> All right, congratulations, guys. Right. Wait, who were your drivers this weekend? Uh, this fella here uh, drove first. Uh, Jamie here was uh, th uh, third. third, and Mike, who I don't see around. So Mike was running his car around for the finish. Oh, was he? Okay, <laughs> Mike's still clamoring around in his yeah. Miata. Um, uh, so he ran second today. Cool. All right, congratulations, guys. All right, thank, All thank right. you, Bill. Thank you. Pomona Speed Shop, second place today on Saturday's race. Hard to catch that rotary. Well, we were saying earlier, uh, second place wasn't a bad place to be, and second place behind a rotary is even better. But uh, Roto Plokers got their game together, and the car was really strong today. And uh, we were just consistent. We're pretty much the slowest car in the top 10, and we're here at second place on the podium. We're just consistent. So got a string of DNFs off us. We've uh, probably DNF the last four or five races all, all across the country, all the way back to Daytona last year. So 
it's uh it's good to be here with the finish solid car and uh we'll get some fresh tires on it and do it again tomorrow so everybody else is having tire problems today how'd you guys do uh, we actually started on a used set of tires that had about 10 hours on them and they're still here in one piece so sure. the good kind of tires are those uh bft rivals they start out skatey and they end skatey so they're <laughs> consistently consistent. consistently not very good but they're yeah. they wear good and we're happy with it so we're here Cool. What are you going to do different tomorrow? They have a nine lap or ten lap deficit they have to make up. Uh, yeah, actually, we got the, we might pull in a ringer or somebody to drive with us and get to get some speed early in the morning. We lost a little bit of time early this morning just getting a feel for the track. Never been here before, so uh, pretty much just the same plan. We just stick to full stints and clean pit stops, and hopefully uh, we can do one better tomorrow. Well, tell us about the car. Uh, just a bone stock 325 BMW. Uh, we're on our uh, second motor in the last one week here. Craigslist special, so. Didn't know anything about it. Got it running about the night before the race, and uh, here it is, strong runner. So we'll keep it in the car for a while. Any problems during the day? No, nothing. Gas and go all day. No issues. Cool. All yeah. right. Congrats, guys. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Silver Fern Miata, third place overall. She's got that. Third place overall, man. You came back from from pretty far back and caught the Willwood car and passed him with about four laps to go. Now I remember at one point you. Uh, you guys were talking back and forth, and you were about 25 seconds behind, and it didn't look you were pretty keeping your a uh, pretty steady pace. But towards the end there, you just caught him. How'd you do that? Well, we had to. We were low on fuel, and uh, we we broke a fuel line, so we were ahead quite a bit. And then we had to go back paddock and fix a fuel line, and then uh, we came out. We knew it was going to be close. We Tammy did a couple of extra laps just so we could kind of have enough fuel for me to chase him. So uh, you know, we knew it was going to be touch and go, but we. Uh, we chased him down and managed to get him with a few laps to go, but we were right way below E on the fuel line, so, but we managed to finish her off. So. so did you know that you passed him for position? Yeah, we knew that we, we knew he was in position. We knew, I passed him earlier on the piece and we knew where he was and we, we knew what we had to do to catch him. Yeah, he didn't know. He thought he was still in third. Oh, well, <laughs> he had a great time then. He got surprised. He ended up second. Huh? Yeah. It was, it was a fun run. It was a fun run. Some fun guys out there to run with, and you know, everybody was real courteous, and yeah. So, so early on, you had a problem with the fuel? Yeah, we broke a fuel line, so uh, we had to come back paddock and fix a fuel line, so wow. yeah. Wow. Come back third place overall. Congrats, man. Thank you very much. It was awesome. Thank you. Hey, Bill. Come on, Bill. Bill Wood here. Unfortunately, fourth place car, not third place, second in class. Well, we did good. We, we, I mean, we've just got past, until just recently, we were happy if the motor ran at the end of the race. <laughs> I mean, that we considered that a victory, you know? So, I mean, today is really good. We had fun. That was a and, tough race with the amount of tires being used up. Yeah, and I mean, we, we've got probably less, we've got more tire left than most of the folks out here, so. We must be doing something right, you know, and uh, we're just going to keep doing it. Maybe someday we might win a race. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> now, you guys have a new product out right now. Uh, you have some new hubs that we're going to be putting up on the website soon. Uh, you guys are running those now, and they're pretty bulletproof. Yeah, we, we designed a, a replacement hub. Fits on the standard spindle. Uh, it's aluminum. It's lighter than the stock hub, and it has... Uh, opposed uh, taper bearings taper, yeah. taper roller, roller taper bearing and they should last forever the, the the we've got i don't know six or seven races on them now and they're just they're just they we took we take them apart and they look new cool. so uh you know and we're going to be we're going to be distributing those to anybody that wants them for a small for a small sum yep and it is actually it's not that much it's, it's it's less than what a lot of other people are getting for a product that is not as good cool. so we're really proud of them they're doing the job cool all right well congratulations you gonna do anything different for tomorrow uh nah we'll try to go faster but other than that i mean pretty much the same thing well it's yeah. a good race man congratulations right. thank you good race <laughs> So yeah, who's the, who's the Honda media guy here? All right, so fifth place for Team Honda. Falcon Tires, you guys uh, took off to an early lead because you had the uh, the start of the race. Yeah, we qualified great. We did a 120 out in the fit. It was awesome. Yeah.
So, uh, so the the word on the internet was your tires were lasting because these things only weigh about two pounds. Uh, slightly more than two pounds. What well, we didn't weigh it after uh, we did the lightweight stuff, yeah. but uh, I, how? What's our weight? We never. We don't. It's yeah, it's, it's light. light. Yeah, it's light. Not two pounds, but it's heavier. Yeah. Than two pounds. Yeah. So you guys could go pretty far on fuel too. Yeah, that's that's the benefit of a light car is we can go far on tires and brakes and fuel. So what are you gonna do different tomorrow to uh, beat everybody else up front? Uh, I think maybe just changing the driver order, uh, but not a whole lot. We'll change the tires maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Congrats, guys. Thank Good you. run. Thank you. Well done. There you go. Don't forget the so uh, we got a Mustang here up on podium today, D-Class, right? Yeah, D-Class. So that ain't no six-cylinder now. No, it's not a six-cylinder, 4.6. It got beat up pretty good today, but it finished. So we're happy that we finished, and we, it, we got a lot of work to do to get it back running tomorrow. So, so just a little more duct tape? A little more duct tape, <laughs> a little bit of welding. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, the car looks a little dusty, went off-roading a few times? Uh, yeah, like four or five times, yeah. So you lost something on the back of the car. We were leaving parts, losing weight on the car <laughs> on every corner. So uh, that's one thing. It was getting faster a little bit, so getting lighter, getting yeah. faster lap times. No. It, you it had was, that wing, right? We had the wing. It's back there somewhere, I think on turn three. Yeah. <laughs> so when you got backwards, it flew off? Uh, when he went off the track, I think it was the impact or yeah. something must have jarred it, and it went flying off. And so yeah, they said I got a pretty good amount of height. Yeah, I, I, I didn't see it. I just I know it's gone and it's somewhere on three. Yeah, they'll pick it up and give it to you later. So uh, what are you guys going to do different tomorrow? Anything? Uh, we got our mufflers are falling off, so we have to weld those tonight. Uh, our gas pedal is falling off. We got to put that back together. <laughs> and I don't know what we're going to do this front end, like more duck weld. So you going to use more Chevy parts? <laughs> well, I we think I almost got, I almost got hit, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So no, the, the Camaro, you know, he didn't finish. But no. He sounded good though. Yeah, something but. about a rear end blowing up. Yeah. Chevy parts. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, guys, congratulations. All right, thank you, thank you, thanks, Bill.